what's interesting is if I swipe down from the top here and I go to search, now from here, I can search any document type I want, and we're going to search all formats, but you'll notice there's PDF, there's EPUBs, all different things. And when you go to this file drop down, you can search by file name, you can search by keyword, or you can search by star. And here in a minute, we're also going to get the handwriting. But right now, let's focus on the keyword and star. Now let's do keyword first. And now I want to go ahead and let's do new keyword since we just did that one. So new keyword popped in there and I can hit search. And this does usually take a while, but here it didn't. It came up pretty quickly, I think, because there's only one of them. But you can look at this this way. It tells you what node it's from. You can also set it by page, so it'll tell you what page it came from. So just that quick toggle. So there's name and there's the page. You can also look at it this way, and it will tell you, again, the name of the keynote and the name of the note right there and you can still do the page view. So it's very interesting the way that they set this up. So if you're looking for a lot of keywords, you can do it. And again, that was a third view. So you can do it in the list or the page. So when you go from list to a little bitty thumbnail to a larger thumbnail, now you can actually see a preview of the page that you're looking for and you'll see all of my different notes there. And you'll also, it's interesting to, to see here, it shows you if it's a handwriting recognition note, which is this little piece here. So that's how the keywords work. Now what's also cool is if we take that out and we just hit search again, it's going to show me all of my keywords. Again, when we go here, you're going to see all of these different keywords pop up in these different formats. So it's really cool. It's a really great and functional tool. And let's say we did want to go by EPA. Now what you'll notice here is that I did a star mark on a Christmas carol. Let's just go ahead and we'll pop in there real quick and you'll be able to see it. So this right here, one of my favorite books that I wrote, is a keyword. So it's almost like that title function that I was talking about earlier. Uh, but you could have also made Marley's Ghost an actual written word here. So let's say you wanted to get here without scanning the text, but you wanted to tag it. You could have put Marley's Ghost. And then you go ahead and circle that, make it a keyword, Marley's Ghost, and add. It says it's on page 12. Now when I go back to that global search, and I want to put in Marley's Ghost, and hit keyword search. Now it's going to come up again. All because it recognizes that keyword in an EPUB. So kind of cool the way this functionality is set up to work with keywords across the Supernote platform. And that also falls into the idea of the star marks. So let's say here that I was really interested and let's go to a different page. Well, matter of fact, I've already done that. So we star mark this page. So let's star mark this one as well. Say we thought all of those were important. Go back to that global search. Change this over to star. And then again, what's cool about this is if I just want to 
search for all of my stars, I can just hit enter, click the magnifying glass, and I will see all of my stars. All of that pops up, every single star I have. You'll notice I don't have a ton of them because, again, it's not a system I fully adopted, but I, I'm having second thoughts about that and whether I should. And that's, again, where you can go to the pages and kind of see a preview. And here is a Christmas carol right here. I go here, and there you go. There is your star mark. And if I go back to the search, and now let's say I only want to go by EPUBs. Hit search. There you go again. 